All right. So um, here's a quick little demo about what we made the other day. It's an image search engine or image retrieval system that we are trying to make over here. So let's get through the demo. So first we need to select the search image. It looks similar to the one that we're trying to find. So this, this is one picture I found off the internet. I'm going to try and look for similar looking image, which I know for sure is present somewhere on my drives. So I don't know the particular lo locations. I'm, I'm trying to find out the particular location of that image. So let's give this command. Okay. This, this is the, the, the script. So I'm going to ask it to search cache. As you can see, it's already started over here. Let's go through all the files that are present on the D drive, all the image files. So just wait for like about 10 to 15 seconds for it to go through around 5,300 images on the drive. Then we're going to compare and come up with the list eventually. When it's done with the image search, it's going to prompt us a message over here which says results found, please click next search result. It's already gone through around 3000 images. It really depends on the kind of feature you're trying to extract and the, the correlation method or the way you're trying to evaluate the correlation that determines the speed of your search. So if you're using inbuilt search and in um, uh, correlation functions, you might end up with the results real fast about, in about four to five seconds max. So now uh, we found the results over here, results found, please press next result. So I'm going to press next search result. Let's find out. All right. So there we have it, a uh, similar looking image of me standing in front of the golden temple over here. So our uh, image system works fine. Uh, let's go through the rest of the images. Uh, as we all know, we found out the top 10 search results. So uh, think about this is, okay, as you can see, there's no change in the search result because we have a duplicate file over here and the location is specified over here. So the thing with this is, if you know the specific location of the search image result, you can find the related images immediately. You can directly go to this particular address and find the related images. So you don't need to be uh, very, you know, particular about getting the one, uh, the picture that you want specifically. But if you are able to retrieve some other picture which is related to that function or that was that place visually, you may be able to find the rest of the images. So that's the the main funda behind this particular script that I wrote. Okay, another duplicate copy we have over here. No, no, no real change in the, in the image. Uh, okay, there's there's a minus change in this image. As you can see, it's uh, from the same particular location. Again, duplicate copy, duplicate copy. Okay, there's minor change in this image. And duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. And this is the last one, the tenth one, the duplicate one, uh, not the duplicate one, the one that I was looking for. So there you, there you have it, a quick little demo about what you can achieve with this particular script. Now this is the GUI that I made. Uh, so if you want to know how to create this particular GUI, please follow the blog. And uh, you can find the rest of the images uh, lying nearby in, you know, in the, this particular folder. So. There you have it. Thank you.